Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you fail test cases in test ng? Let me answer. Though we intentionally don't fail any test cases using test ng, but uh, we have to know in what situation this test ng tests generally fail. Okay, that is the right way to put it. Okay, but uh, if the question is asked in the interviews like this, you can mention that. Okay, so intentionally don't fail the test using test ng, but occasionally we see the test ng test failing due to this so and so reasons, and then you can answer this different ways. First, uh, straightforward way is uh, you know using the assertions. I'll write one more assertion here. I forgot assert dot assert equals. Okay, all these are the different varieties. You see, whenever we come across this asset dot fail, automatically the text fails. Okay. For example, here I'll write a logic in a is equal to five, b is equal to four. If a is less than b, if a is uh, less than b, then I'll write down asset dot fail. Okay. And here I'll write a message. If you want this optional, but you can write. Okay. Uh, a is uh, less than b. Uh, if a is less than b, then it will fail. Okay, a is less than b, hence failed. Okay, hence failed. Like this. Okay, based on a condition, your own manual condition. If you want to fail, that is okay. I'm not writing in Selenium automation code. I'm using only Java code here. You can also combine or mix up the Selenium code. Okay, for this examples, I'm just taking because it is a test ng question. So I'm just taking the Java Java code only. Okay, run this. The test will not fail this time because five is not less than four, so will not go inside the if block, and uh, this fail statement will not be encountered, and the test will pass. Okay, the test will pass; it will not fail. But what if? But what if I'll write three here? Then three less than four is true. A is less than B and fail. This time the fail condition is encountered. Fail fail command is encountered, and the test will fail. This time the test will fail because A is less than B. And it will print the message also. You see, assertion error because a is less than b and failed. Whatever the message I have provided in this, a is less than b and failed. That message is coming in the output here. Okay, that message is coming in the output. You can also see in the results. Okay, uh, assertion error a is less than b and failed. Okay, so that's the message. This is one of the way, uh, situations where your test may fail because of the assert dot fail and uh, assert true. Okay, assert dot assert true this is another thing. I'll write down like this assert dot assert true assert dot assert dot assert true and here write down a less than b. So if this condition is resulting in true and assert true is also expecting true. Okay, since the condition is also returning true and assert true is expecting true, the test will pass. Okay. The test is going to pass in this case. You see here, the test is going to pass. So now let's go back and uh, change the condition here. Instead of three, I'll make it 13. 13 is not less than B, that is four. So it will return false, but it is expecting true. In this case, there is a conflict and this assertion is going to fail the test. This is one of the case where the test may fail, okay? So assert dot assert true may fail the test because of that condition is returning in false. It is expecting true, but the condition has written false. This condition has written false, hence the test got failed. Similarly, we have an opposite version that is assert false. If the condition is returning in false, the test will pass. Okay, it is an opposite version. This time you see the test will pass. 13 is less than 4 is false. It's expecting false only, so the test will pass. What if the condition is returning in true. Three less than four is true. It is returning true, but we are expecting false. There is a conflict, so the test will fail. So why are different assertions? Okay, the test will either pass or fail. Okay, so I explained assert dot fail, assert true, assert false, assert equals. We have assert equals version also, where you know you can compare literally anything, any type of data. It can be Boolean values, it can be integers, it can be string type, any type of data you can compare. And uh, here, assert equals, if you hover, 
it is expecting actual here and actual is here and expected is here okay so just give something like for example this is actual and this is four is expected four is expected but uh, three is coming okay so three is there so three comma four they are not equal hence this will fail the test okay the test will fail because three and four are not equal in place of three four you can also provide some string text and all those stuff okay you see expected four but found three that's a problem now here if i make it four here it's expecting four actually i should be writing a comma b that will be a correct version okay it's expecting four but here we have four okay in this case it will pass the test okay it will not fail it will pass because four and four are equal to pass the test like that okay so and uh, other cases uh, during any exception if any apart from this assertions okay there are a lot of other assertions in test ng because of which the test may fail these are the common assertions that we generally use in real time and apart from that uh, during the execution if you are if you get an exception for example if i write something like this int a is equal to 9 divided by 0 this will give you an arithmetic exception because you cannot divide a number by 0 in mathematics okay so this will give an arithmetic exception because of that arithmetic exception the test is going to fail this is another case where the test test and the test may fail okay it got an arithmetic exception because of dividing a number by zero hence the test got failed you see test and the test got failed because of this arithmetic exception so apart from this assertion errors okay assertion failures okay Fail, failing uh, test failing because of this assertion different type of assertions in test and for uh, exceptions also when an, whenever an exception occurs also the test and test generally fail okay during real time so with practical demonstration i covered how the tests or test and tests generally fail in real time so that's all for this session thank you bye bye